Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my top 10 binge worthy TV box sets that are currently on Netflix UK. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name is Gina and I am a mum of two. So let's get into the video. So the first one is Dirty John. Um, I actually watched this um, as soon as it came out onto Netflix. I um, had heard about it from Bravo Channel because in America it's actually shown on Bravo whereas in the UK it's on Netflix. Um, I'd heard about it because um, I watched Real Housewives of Orange County and it was mentioned on the finale show of last season and that's how I heard about it and I went and had a look at it and I thought I'd really enjoy it so I watched that as soon as it came onto Netflix and it's really really good um, it's a bit of a shocking turn of events it's based on a true story um, and there is a documentary also on Netflix about the same guy about the real guy obviously this is a dramatised version um, so yeah so go and watch Dirty John the second one is going to be Line of Duty now the newest season the one that's just been shown in the UK isn't on Netflix just yet but all the previous seasons are on Netflix so if you watch if you've never watched Line of Duty box set all of them on Netflix and then watch the brand new season on BBC iPlayer or I think it's on Sky as well for the um, on-demand area of BBC so yeah so Line of Duty on Netflix like I say, the new season I would imagine will be on there soon because the whole box sets previously has been on there for a while. So hopefully they'll add the new one soon. But if not, you can catch up on BBC iPlayer as well. The third box set that um, is really, really good on Netflix is The Bodyguard. Now that is by the creators of Line of Duty. It was on BBC One and it is actually on Netflix now to watch as a box set. It's got the guy in it that played Rob Stark in Game of Thrones. Um, he's really, really good in it. And it's also got the woman that was in one of the seasons of Line of Duty. Um, I think it was the first and second season she was in. or No, the second and third she was in. Um, so yeah, it's got her in too. And they're really, really good. Um, I love The Bodyguard. I am pretty sure I've heard that it's been renewed for a second season. Um, so hopefully... Um, we'll see that again on BBC but if you haven't watched it you can watch the whole box set on Netflix the other box set I want to talk about is um, Dynasty I've mentioned this before in a few of my favorite videos it's about to come to the finale of the last season I don't know there's two or three seasons now can't quite remember but anyway you can watch it from the beginning and you can watch right up to date and the new ones are added every Friday um friday night saturday morning i think um so yeah so you can catch up on all of that it is it's pretty much like the old dynasty but in a more newer twistier way where it's quite over the top some of the things they do now whereas you wouldn't have got away with that in the 80s when it was on um but i love the cast in this and um grant show plays um Blake Carrington so um, I think he's a great actor so I love anything with him in any TV shows he's been in before I've always watched so I really really love it it's uh, twists and turns and plotting and all that kind of stuff so it's really good gritty TV show um, that you can get your teeth into and have a good watch and it's it'd be really good as a box set just to binge watch it all so yeah and um, the next one is a pretty similar as well i've mentioned this before in some of my favorites it's one of my favorite tv shows and that is riverdale that has um just come to the conclusion of the last season and um yeah it's it's supposed to be like a teen drama but i don't class it as a teen drama i really enjoy it and i know quite a few of my age group do really enjoy it as well um it is um it starts off where there's been a murder and you've got to figure out who is it and what's happened and stuff like that and in the other seasons that follow there's quite a few dark sinister turns and it can get a little bit scary in places um so yeah i like to watch that in an evening when it's dark because it's a bit a bit scary in that way but it's really really good um all the actors and actresses are amazing um but it's it's along the similar theme of pretty little liars um so if you like that you'll love this so go and watch riverdale it's on from the beginning all the whole 
the whole box set is on Netflix so you can watch it all in one go the next thing is the Santa Clarita diet now they've just put season three on I've watched all of that now um but I didn't start watching it when it very first came on I only started watching it probably a couple of months ago um, I binge binge watched the entire first and second season in one go and then the third one was coming out pretty soon after that so as soon as that came out i watched that as well um i'm not really into comedy tv shows and it is quite a, a dark comedy a bit of um tongue-in-cheek type thing but i love drew barrymore and she stars in it and it is amazing it's funny it's a bit quirky one of the guys from vacation movie the one that plays the kid he's in it um and the guy i can't remember his name who plays the lead drew barrymore's husband in it he was in scream uh two so yeah so they're in it and it's really really good it's funny it's a bit dark comedy type thing but it's really really good and the whole three seasons are on netflix i've heard it's been cancelled but I believe there's a petition and sometimes when there's petition and it's on Netflix it sometimes gets renewed again so um yeah so hopefully it'll get renewed again and um, because where they ended it at the very last episode they could have done so much more with it for next season so hopefully it'll come back and it'll be on there but if you haven't seen it it's worth a watch and it is three seasons long they're only 20 minute or 30 minute shows I think each episode is about 20 30 minutes so it's quite easy to get through them um, and it's light-hearted and it's funny there's some bits probably not good for children but I don't think anything that I recommend is ever good for children because I like a lot of crime and dark horror type shows so I don't really recommend letting your kids watch anything that I'm recommended to be honest because I don't let my kids watch any of these so yeah um, the next one is the designated survivor now this actually did get cancelled and now it is back because of a petition so this one is about um it's got Kiefer Sutherland in there who plays the president he um basically he gets um seconded when something happens where everyone goes to the capital building obviously i'm not american so i don't know exactly what how this works but there's supposed to be a designated survivor from each party that goes into secondment when everybody is in the um capital building for whatever it is they do there um and it ends up the capital building gets blown up by terrorists and he is this designated survivor he ends up being the most senior a person in power within the parliament that's left and he ends up becoming the president so and he didn't want it and um it's had two seasons and like i said there is there is twists and turns in it but i like a good drama as well i like a good political drama um so that one is really really good it is sometimes a hard watch um they have a lot of um sort of current topics that get wound into the storyline and stuff like that but there is a lot of scheming and, and twists and turns in it of who bombed them and why they bombed them and the whole organization behind the bombing and stuff like that it's all an underlying plot that goes along through the whole two seasons um and it, like i say it got cancelled after the second season straight away and there's been loads of online kickoff and petitions and everything else and it has been brought back and it's actually due for season three coming out in the next few weeks i think it's july june or july and um, so keep an eye out for that but box set one and two are on netflix so you can watch them now in readiness for the third one so if you haven't seen it go ahead and watch that drama the next one is quite a dark um drama um it's sort of classed as a teeny drama but as i say i don't class these ones as teeny anything really i think they're quite dark so um yeah it's called you and it has got pen badly in it who was from gossip girl um, and i think that's kind of why it gets put into that teen area because it's got him in it um but basically he's, he's a bit of a stalker and he's in love with this girl and he sort of stalks her into having a relationship with him and stuff like that and it is quite dark it is quite twisted um coming up to the end and stuff so not for kids um but it's really really good 
twists and turns it's only had one season so far i'm not sure if they're doing another one um i haven't heard anything so if you can watch that get into that because it's really good um and it's quite addictive as well once you get into it you want to watch the next one and the next one which is what obviously you love doing when you're watching your box sets so so the next one is another true drama but this is actually a documentary drama and it is the disappearance of madeline mcgann now if some of some of you may not know who madeline mcgann is now madeline mcgann was a little girl who was three almost four and she went on holiday with her mum and dad the british family um mum and dad were doctors and she also had twin siblings which were 18 months two years at the time and it was it was a few years ago it was, i think it was late 90s something like that um and they went on holiday to portugal and mum and dad left the three children sleeping in the room on the um, resort in Portugal and went for a meal at um, a restaurant which was just across the courtyard, across the pool from the room, thinking that the kids were okay. The, all the parents took it in turns to go and keep an eye on the kids and, stu and such. But when they got back from their meal, the eldest daughter, Madeline, was, dis you know, she'd disappeared, she'd gone. Um, they raised the alarm that she'd been taken and ever since then there has been um, a flurry of media interest um, there's been accusations from the Portuguese police there's been investigations by British police um, there's been lots of interest from newspapers um, and media around the world it is quite a big story and no one has ever found her no one has ever found any information that's led to her um, but this documentary is quite in-depth and it goes through quite a few people that were involved in the investigation privately and within the service of Portuguese police and the UK police. There's been um, a guy who was a private investigator who got quite close to um, a child abduction ring um, that was paid for by a billionaire in the UK. So it's quite a, a really good, if you like crime drama and you like documentary crime drama type thing you'll love this it is there is some scenes in there that are quite upsetting there is um talk of um child abduction rings and stuff like that which is obviously very disturbing um so if you don't want to hear about anything like that then don't watch it but it has got it doesn't show anything obviously um but there is quite a lot of police agencies and media agencies that do talk about um the child abduction rings that are operating within Europe so it is it has got quite a gritty undertone to it like I say it is a tragedy that this little girl no matter what people think some people think the parents have killed her some people think she's been abducted um, some people think she's accidentally died and they've covered it up there's so many different conspiracy theories about it but at the end of the day the little girl is gone no one has found her in all this time and it is such a sad story but it's really interesting if you're into investigation of any kind to watch that and i think it's a 10-part drama uh, sorry it's a 10-part documentary um so yeah so that's on netflix and it's called the disappearance of madeline mcgann it has been quite controversial um i don't can't i think the parents have actually spoke out about it now i don't think they're supporting uh, supportive of it i can't remember but I'm, I'm sure someone told me that the parents had spoke out about it so um but anyway it's, it's worth a watch it's really really good if you like those kind of documentaries then that is really worth a watch and the last thing that i'm going to mention is stranger things now i started watching stranger things when it first came out and i watched the first season and i really didn't like it i didn't like all the references to the 80s movies because i thought they were just copycatting off other movies and taking bits from each one but I actually re-watched it when they brought the second season out and I really enjoyed it. I watched it from scratch from, from the beginning. There's season one and season two are on Netflix now. The third one is coming in the next few weeks um, and that's why I'm mentioning it now. Because if you didn't like the first season, which I didn't at all, go back and re-watch it and then watch the second season because I really got into it once I'd watched the first one again and then watched the second one. I'd really, I've really got into it now so I'm really loving it so I can't wait for the next season. So yeah, Stranger Things and that is my lineup for Netflix box sets that I recommend for you to watch, that I have watched, that I have loved and that I continue to watch. 
So I'm just going to flick through a few that I actually haven't watched but I have been recommended them and I am going to be watching them in the near future um, and these are the ones that I can't wait to watch. So the first one is Mindhunter and that is, um, it's basically like the BAU in the FBI, it's the um, Behavioural Al Analysis Unit. It is the uh, criminal profilers basically um, and I think it's from like the 60s when they first started um, and it's sort of a drama about that and how they became and what they do and cases they worked on and stuff like that. So it is a drama, it's not real um, but it is based upon that era. The other one is Manhunt Unabomber and that is about the Unabomber um, bombings obviously. So it's actually got Sam Worthington in it and I love Sam Worthington. Anything that's got Sam Worthington and I will watch. So yeah, so um, Manhunt Unabomber, that is one of the ones that I can't wait to watch. These are, they've been on a while but I just haven't got round to them yet so these are a few that I haven't got round to yet. Now The Crown, I just started watching this week so I've just watched the whole of season one and I've just started the first episode of season two so I really like it. It is about our Queen Elizabeth and um, it starts with her dad King George and what happened to him and then how she became Queen and then it's starting off. It's quite a personal story about her relationship with her husband and everything else and how she a relationship with a family, a sister and stuff like that so it is quite in depth. Um, I'm not sure whether she approves of it the Queen or not I don't know um, but yeah it's quite an in-depth story and I've really enjoyed it so that's The Crown but I have like I say I have started watching it so it is good so I do recommend that really. Um, and the other one is The Umbrella Academy. Now I watched the first one a couple of weeks ago and I just haven't got around to watching any of the others yet. I believe that it's getting quite a cult following now so i am going to give it another go and um continue on with that so the umbrella academy is another one that i want to watch and the last one is what if that is a brand new one it's just been added to netflix um and i really can't wait to watch that it looks really good so give those a try they're my other five that i'm waiting yeah one two three four five so the so the ones that i'm looking forward to watching is mind hunter manhunt unabomber the crown the Umbrella Academy and What If. Those are the ones that I need to watch and I recommend that you watch them even though I haven't seen them yet. Um, and the top 10 box sets that I recommend you watch that I have watched are Dirty John, Line of Duty, The Bodyguard, Dynasty, Riverdale, Santa Clarita Diet, Designated Survivor, You, Disappearance of Madeline McGann and Stranger Things. So if you like this video please give us a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the red button and subscribe. Follow us on all our social media. And I will see you next time. So thanks for watching. Bye.